Hey there, how are you? The human race has consumed meat for as long as anyone can remember. I mean, we absolutely love it. In all shapes and sizes, no matter what part of the world we end up in, one of us tends to find a cow, or a sheep, or even a pig, and before you know it, bacon is on the menu. Now it seems that as humans we're just natural born carnivores and today, meat is consumed by a massive proportion of the planet. Now the wonder of human anatomy also allows our lovely bodies to remain alive on alternative food resources, basically not meat, which gave birth to the vegetarian and vegan plant-based lifestyles. Now these bad boy diets have proven to be immensely popular, even offering better health benefits than those who consume meat as part of their diet, or so the research tells us. However, with today's research being in the truckload for the pros and cons of both eating lifestyles, the debate rages on as to which diet is the most beneficial. Now, one thing neither food choice can prevent is the human body from just kicking the dirt, completing its life cycle and dying. Some choose a burial, some choose to be cremated, but what if I could tell you there was a third option, that you could donate your own physical body for human consumption. That's right Sheila, toss another of Grandad Pete's ribs onto the barbie, it's time for a party. The Human Me Project or the HMP was founded in 2021 with the intent to encourage anyone who would like to contribute to ending world hunger to donate their entire deceased body to be harvested for meat and feed approximately 40 people from just one human body. Cannibalism is currently technically legal in several countries across the world, such as Papua New Guinea, Fiji and the Democratic Republic of Congo, with no laws prohibiting the consumption of human flesh, although there are still several bylaws that would combat anyone attempting to sell or distribute human flesh. The HMP have their own established website where they give you a top to bottom detail on every single thing that goes into body donation, including a 22 question long questionnaire that all candidates must answer in order to properly decide whether that person's body would be suitable for human consumption. You have to be shitting me. Including detailed questions on the history of the individual's medical status, like whether or not they've had cancer, HIV, hepatitis, diabetes, amongst a long list of other diseases. Now on the website's making donation section, it explains why you should donate your body to be consumed by other starving humans where it reads, over time, the human population has increased rapidly across the globe, leading to a higher demand for food, especially meat products. With this increasing demand, land for residential areas has become more difficult to find and emissions from farms have risen every year, making the lives we lead less sustainable, oh no. We believe that by donating bodies and or organs we can make a change by creating alternative meat consumption options while addressing the value of a person's body. The site is incredibly detailed with additional information like the nutritional facts of human meat which reads, human meat often understated for its nutritions Human meat protein and fat density could have the same or better than other convenient meat products like beef, chicken and pork. So basically our proteins are the same as beef, chicken and pork. So we're just as good, we're just as good. As omnivores, human meat taste and texture is similar to pork. So we taste like pigs everyone. Not to mention the quality could be more substantial depending on the quality of life ratings. One body contains every essential amino, minerals and vitamins needed for daily intake. Not only could one body feed up to 40 people, it also has the most attainable resource for meat and fat consumption. The HMP seem to have put a lot of thought and research behind their project, obviously wanting the best, highest quality meat for people they want to feed, so of course they have very strict quality control processes accompanied by the slogan, you're not going to believe this, good life, good meat. So how do they select their donors? Well, you don't have to look far on the site to locate that source of information, because I'm going to read it out to you. It reads as follows. We make sure our donors are healthy and without any contagious diseases, health issues or medications or substances which might be absorbed by people who consume their meat. Donors who have medical conditions such as AIDS, HIV, Crutzfeld-Jacob disease, hepatitis, 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever, cancer, tuberculosis or rabies will be rejected in order to prevent risk to the consumer. Oh, thanks for caring about us all so much before you chop us up to give our bodies away to be consumed by people and encourage cannibalism. But anyway, there are other medical conditions that might prevent donors from being accepted, such as diabetes, hormone treatments or mental disorders. So if you're a bit crazy, you're not going to qualify for human meat donation. So let's have a look at what happens in the case of a rejected donation. So this is what happens if your body gets rejected. If a donor has any medical condition that can be transferred human to human, they cannot be a donor. If a donor has an act of cancer, they cannot donate up until the time the cancer has gone into remission or been removed and will have to wait a minimum of one year after the last treatment or procedure. If a donor has a partial remission, they will have to wait a minimum of one year after the procedure and will go through a medical checkup to ensure no medications remain in the human body. Oh, they really care. If a donor has gone through full remission after one year, they can be a human meat donor. The Human Meat Project allows you to donate your whole body, organs included, of which they list that your blood, bone marrow, skin tissue and reproductive system will all be used for consumption. So basically they're going to eat your guts. But if you're particular on what you want to donate, you can choose only certain parts to give and you can keep the rest. For me guys, I would keep my eyes, maybe let them have the rest of me. I wouldn't even want to donate my body for human consumption anyway, it's crazy. But guys, it doesn't stop there. The Human Meat Project wants you to be comfortable. They want you to have the best experience possible. So the organization also offer you a comforting, palliative setup where you can prepare yourself for passing away before your body is harvested, even assisting in what they call a painless and peaceful method of passing away before they chop you up into a million pieces and stick you into a human hot dog. So basically, they help you with assisted suicide. There's also the option to return the body to their next of kin for a funeral service before the HMP will then collect it once again for full harvesting. They also offer their own spiritual service for peace of mind and allowing a priest, pastor, reverend or any person of a religious manner of the individual's choosing. Now guys, when this is all done and the person is harvested, sliced and diced, divided, joined separated, you know, like you do with a cow, all the different cuts, a bit of a human filet mignon, there are examples of the packaging labels made for already harvested bodies. And you can see here on screen that it highlights all the notable aspects of the human you're about to eat. You can see here the date it was harvested and when to use by, the age, the gender of the person, the diet of the person, their body type, their race, the country they are from and even the recommended cooking time for the meat. The site even have two videos highlighting the benefits of human meat consumption posted on YouTube that you can view yourself if you consider donating your body after you die. Now you're sitting here probably for the majority of this video thinking, how is this legal? I mean, you have to be shitting me, this cannot be true. Surely something is up. Well, you'd be absolutely correct in assuming something is up because this entire thing is a hoax, 100% illegal and absolutely not valid whatsoever. Organizers of the site and organization claimed it was purely for artistic purposes and they wanted to highlight just how many people were willing to donate their bodies with over 100,000 people filling out the 22 part questionnaire and registering for donation. The site sparked outrage and was slammed for encouraging cannibalism worldwide. The site was so convincing that those against the idea of human donation labelled it and I quote, unbelievably disgusting and evil, while another said, what the hell has this world come to? This is so messed up. These are just two quotes from a list of thousands. As stated guys, the organisers of the whole thing have reiterated more than several times that it was purely conceptual art and nothing else. Seems like a pretty long way to go, sparking such an outrage in terms of art, but if you ask me, I'm pretty happy that it was just that, a complete hoax. Thanks for watching The Leaky Bottle, make sure to check out future videos on this channel.